Thank you. The troubleshooters investigate public officials to hold them accountable and keep them from covering up things you should know about. Like a local school district trying to apparently conceal nepotism that involves its top officials and turning that district into a kind of family business. Troubleshooter Jay Avila is live from tonight's Harlandale School Board meeting where his investigation is leading to a lot of questions tonight. Jay. Well, you wouldn't be allowed to promote or supervise your family members where you work. Most companies enforce a nepotism policy. But here at Harlandale ISD, the superintendent is related to the new high school principal and a number of other employees. And the school board claims they didn't know about it until we told them. The Harlandale School District is rich in tradition and community pride. The district motto, a family working together. And they're not kidding. This is Ray Madrigal. He took over as Harlandale superintendent in June of 2012. Within a few months, his cousin, Fred Anthony, was promoted to principal of Harlandale High School. Around the same time, Madrigal's daughter, Maricela, jumped from middle school teacher to a teaching position at Harlandale High School. With me so far, remember Fred Anthony, the new Harlandale principal? Well, his uncle, Arthur Anthony, was hired in January as groundskeeper at Memorial Stadium. Are you still following me? Because Principal Fred Anthony has another cousin, Mark Robles, who works as a groundskeeper. Oh, and Fred Anthony's brother, Charlie, is also an elementary school teacher with the district. And did I mention that Superintendent Ray Madrigal's brother, Ernest, is also employed as a PE assistant at one of the elementary schools? Well, that is the Madrigal Anthony Harlandale family tree. We went to a favorite Harlandale hangout, Bud Jones Restaurant, to see what parents and taxpayers who pay those district salaries think of what's been going on. It's too much favoritism and family shouldn't uh, be working with family. Well, what's wrong with that is a lot of times other people are bumped out of good positions that might be more qualified for those positions. Now get this, the Harlandale School District claims state law prevents them from discussing the number of relatives Superintendent Madrigal has working for him. The district says any employee is allowed to keep their family connections confidential. But we think the man running a public school district needs to answer to you. Ray, how many relatives do you have working for the district? You know what, sir, to be honest with you, what I'm going to do on the direction of our board president, I'm going to refer that question to him. And that's what the, You can't tell me how many relatives you have you working what, for the sir? district. You're the superintendent. I'll be honest with you. The board president will answer that question for you. Thank you. But I didn't want him to leave without asking about his cousin, Fred Anthony, who under Madrigal was promoted to principal at Harlandale High School, earning $95,000 a year. We also found out the principal lives in this home, which he bought from Superintendent Madrigal in 2005. If you should have to investigate him or reprimand him, wouldn't that be, would that be a conflict for you? The superintendent refused to answer, so we interviewed the school board president, whom Madrigal said was ready to field questions. I'm just finding out. I mean, you uh, didn't know that the principal of Harlandale was related to the superintendent. I, I did not know. Mr. Fred Anthony got that position under his own merit and had, did not need the assistance of any, anybody. The other board members told me the same thing. Madrigal never disclosed that Fred Anthony was his cousin when they approved his promotion. And when Madrigal presented a recommendation to hire Arthur Anthony as a groundskeeper earlier this year, he didn't reveal that relationship either. In both cases, the board says Madrigal did not violate the nepotism policy because he isn't the one doing the actual hiring. The board is. He has no interaction on who is hired or, you know, who is placed where. You're telling me that the superintendent had nothing to do with his relative being hired in January of this year? Uh, to my knowledge, no. Why should you care about nepotism at a school district? Well, remember what happened at nearby South San ISD just a couple of years ago? Superintendent Ron Durbin had the same number of family members working for him. He was fired for interfering with an investigation of his son, athletic director Gary Durbin. But the district paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal bills because of the scandal. 
Harlandale officials say they're not concerned about something like that happening at their district, where every workday is like a family reunion. And just today, we learned of four more Madrigal relatives working at Harlandale, which is a smaller school district, but it's in a big city, has a huge pool of people to uh, hire from, and so it's supposed to follow the state's nepotism law. But as we mentioned, uh, it's using this loophole of having board members do the hiring to get around that. Reporting live from the South Side, Jay Avila, News 4 San Antonio. All right, Jay, thank you so much.